but the Ben Rennick, like the trial going on right now. Yeah, I've been absorbing it like crazy. But just hearing like these like yeah. non-snake people, like Court TV, talk about our hobby as yeah. like bougie, a bougie boutique hobby, designer hobby. And I'm just, and they're like, there's so much money in this game. And like, so it's funny. out there. Like the public fucking sees it. You know what I mean? But I know. Um, and you know, to, to shed a light on that, I mean, they convicted fucking, you know. I know, but only second degree right. and only 13, what was it say? 13 to 16 years they're saying today. And that's just, to me, that doesn't, it doesn't feel like enough. I mean, I feel like she could have, it could have got, I, I mean, it could have been worse. Life. It, yeah. I don't know. I just don't think it's right for her to walk away after her. He can never do anything again. And in 10 years, she'll be my age, probably ish. Yeah. She'll be free for the rest of her life. Theoretically. I, I don't, I, that kills me inside. I'm just a huge passionate believer in karma. And like, yeah. you know, at the end of the day, if she's out, she has freedom. Well, based on the choices she's made in her life, it's it, up change. till now, right? She's gonna have a crappy life no matter what. Hundred percent, you know. But but still, she doesn't deserve her freedom. She does. He doesn't. And Ben was a great guy. And that's what ben I want to talk guy. about because yeah. I mean, you're somebody who was around during Ben Rennick's legacy, so yeah. you know what was happening with that guy with his snakes, you know, just as anyone else who was around that time. So, yeah. what from what you remember as far as what Ben had going on. Can you kind of just enlighten us a little bit of sure. his memory of what we, what he was doing? I wasn't his best friend, but I, you know, I get, did get to see him a lot of different shows and, you know, we had many multi hour, hour conversations and texting and I, you know, sent him animals and he sent me animals and, and what a, what a genuine person. I think that's the biggest thing is that he was exactly the way he was, you know, and he's also the guy at snake shows that would like single a kid out and be like hey you want to hold the most expensive snake in the in my my case here you know what i'm saying he was creating not, memories like that he was the kind of person who who was not at all stuck up he had no no ego you know and uh just a really genuine person and he always wanted to help he always wanted to be a part of of the community and and that's just when, boy, when i heard he got murdered i just I was like, what? What's if anybody I could have guessed that would have been got themselves mixed up in something? It wouldn't have been him. You know, it just it was, didn't make sense because, like you said, right. I mean, I didn't, I never met him, but I knew how, like, I could just tell, like, how genuinely nice the guy is. Yeah. I mean, and only that, like, I knew of him through Forrest, through Dave Levison. Like, there's big time people who were close to this guy, yeah. and they knew him better than anything else, you know. And and these aren't people who just talk highly of anyone either, you know. So, right. it's super unfortunate, but you know, as far as his name never dying out, which will never die out. You know, Ben right. Rennick will always forever live in this game because, I mean, he, I mean, no disrespect to you, but he would be right there with you, I feel like, if he was around. Oh, yeah. no, but he all was doing great stuff. Great stuff. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Back in that time frame, like, let's say, because when Ben Rennick was really making things move with the projects, this was like pre social media right like 2015 ish or 20 20... is what it is now that's for sure yeah for sure before yeah. the big glow up which right. which is what it is now right yeah. but to kind of take i want to know exactly back pre-social media glow where it is now what were your biggest projects that you were banking on then like <clears throat> or something that yeah was very important to you then <clears throat> so ben actually for me it was the dream sickles and the early clown combos you know we were fortunate to make like the first fire clown Firefly Clown. Where year was that? Um, it would have been like 2000. I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe 2012, 13, 14. I'm, I'm not sure how long it's been. But I just remember that that zone. Was <laughs> where, I remember what building I was in when I was talking to him and what we were making at the time. Um, we were making the first Leopard Clowns, and then he made the first Spot Nose Clown. Ben did. Wow. Yeah. What a, that's what a legacy because that has been you know one of the big bedrocks of the clowns right <clears throat> he made the first um spot nose clown and he posted it on facebook and i was so inspired by that snake like i saw that snake and i thought that's a game changer like i had not tried or thought about spot nose clowns at all and that is a game changing animal and i think most people when they first saw it, they're like oh it's busy because right at the time everybody was trying to go with these super, like super blade clowns right. like Clean. super yeah. just Reduce. a stripe down the back you know and golden <clears throat> sides you know I'm like, that is so different and so heavy pattern. That's like, just opens up another world. And at the time I had just made um, leopard clowns. And, and so I went out that night and I had a leopard spot nose. I went out that night that he showed that picture and I put a clown with my leopard spot nose, adult female that was about to ovulate. And, and we got leopard spot nose clowns from that. And then 
grew that up like crazy. I was so inspired by this snake. I was so inspired. <laughs> we were like 12 months later, we had the first Batman on the ground after the first, right after the first plant was made. Yeah, uh, it's the first botanist clown. So like he he's the honestly, he's like the guy, the godfather of the Batman, because it never would have happened. I mean, not not anytime soon if it wasn't for Ben Rennick. You know what's crazy? It's like, I mean, you probably won't get this analogy and like I mean Bay, Bay Area rap music, right? Like there was legends like Mac Dre. Mac Dre is my favorite rap artist. Okay. And he didn't fulfill, like he didn't get to fulfill everything he started, like his legacy. But E40 was able to take over that mm. and start the hyphy move the hyphy movement hyphy movement is something that mac dre created either way i'm just i look at you as like okay. the e40 and gotcha. ben ranks mac dre yeah. i think somebody people some people get it out there but <laughs> it's the smarter people than me <laughs>